In this video, I'm going to show you guys a new unknown buy sell indicator on TradingView that very few people know about that got some mind blowing results when I back tested it. So make sure you watch till the end. Again, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. Let me show you the indicator first along with the strategy and then we'll back test it to see how it performs. So this particular indicator is called the Easy Algo. To add it, uh, first you need to get it from the link in the description. Go to their website, get it, and once you once you get it, it'll show up in your invite only strips. Easy Algo, and you see how not too many people know about this one. Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool, right? So you know it's it's, it's something new on the market, so I wanted to test it out and see how legit this is. And honestly, I was, I was, I was impressed and I'll show it to you in the results. But the indicator itself is, is pretty good, but I use it, it, it was giving some false signals. So what I did was I, I used two free indicators on TradingView to help filter out some of the, the trades that would have, would have gone the opposite way. So to kind of make it a little bit more effective, I added two more indicators. So this are the set th this is the settings that I use for easy algo, right? I used sensitivity 1.5 um, just showing buy and sell uh, buy and sell signals and showing the trend ribbon. There's a bunch of other stuff that I can show too, but I, I turned everything else off. okay? Everything else I turned off because I just wanted the buy sell signals to see how effective they were and I wanted to look at the trend ribbon. all right? The uh, the two free indicators that I added was I added the EMA to 200 length EMA and I added the MACD for confirmation. Okay, so if I take these away right now, let me show you what would happen. All right, you get a buy signal, great. You get a sell signal, this would have been a loss because you would have stopped out. You get a buy signal right here, that would have not gone very far before it swung back down, right? So there would have been some false signals. So the strategy that I use is number one, let me go ahead and add the EMA again. And then I'm gonna add the MACD. I'm gonna make some changes to the settings of the EMA. So this, I'm gonna make 200 style. I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker so it's a little easier to see. Right, so there's your 200 EMA right there, the blue line. And then MACD, I'm not gonna make any changes to. All right, we're gonna keep it as is. So the strategy that I use for this particular one, so, and there are rules. The biggest rule right now, do not, I do not, I when I back tested this where it was super effective, no trading in the first hour of the market open and the last hour of market close. So from, I'm, I'm in central standard time zone, so for me, it was 8.30 to 9.30. I'm not taking any trades on this. And then from 2 to 3 o'clock, because the market closed at 3 o'clock my time, which is 4, 4 p.m. Eastern. So between 8.30 to 9.30, no trades from uh, four, from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m., no trades, all right? Because the market is way too volatile and it'll give you some signals just because that market volatility. I did not go for those because those, those seem to be off. The other, so... Number one rule, right? About the time, when when to do the trades. Number two, when you get a buy signal, I was making sure that the price action is above the 200 EMA. So we're going with the long-term trend, okay? And if it's a sell, we want the price action to be below the 200 EMA. Then on the MACD, when you get a buy signal and the price action is above the 200 EMA, you gotta make sure that there's there's a green bar in the histogram, right? That that's super important. So for instance, this trade would have been a loss or we wouldn't have gotten into this trade because yeah, we got a buy signal and the price action is above the 200 EMA, but the bars over here they're not they're not green, right? They're they're red and pink. We're not going to go for that trade. So here, you get a sell signal, we would not have gotten into this trade. Why? Because the price action was above the 200 EMA. We're not going to go against the trend. So we're looking for long positions only when the price action is above the 200 EMA and, and going short and taking sell positions when the price action is below the 200 EMA. Okay. Along with making sure that these bars are blue when, on, when we're going long and they're red when we're going short. I'll show you guys an example of a short trade too. So 
For instance, this right here, and also on this particular strategy, I'm using the five minute time frame with Heikinashi candles. This indicator, Easy Algo, works best on the Heikinashi candles. And I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like, well, the Heikinashi is not actual true price action because it lags and it averages out the last couple of candlesticks, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know what? You're right. But at the same time, when you're looking at a five minute time frame, that difference is not that significant. Okay. If you're doing an hour or four hour chart, yes, that price, the price would have been very, very off. But on a five minute time frame, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So it works super effective on the Heikinashi candles. So for instance, on this particular trade, you get a buy signal, price action is above the 200 EMA. You got a blue line right here. When the candle closes, that's that's when I'd get in. I like to put the stop loss below the recent swing low on the long, all right? And even when I did the back test, it was risk to reward ratio one to one and a half, okay? Boom, hit it right there, all right? Now, let's take a look at a short trade. All right, here's a great example of a short trade, okay? So price action is below the 200 EMA, right? Price action is below the 200 EMA. You got a sell signal, which is price action. Again, below the 200 EMA, you get a sell signal and the MACD is red, okay? And you take a short position right here at the next candle. Stop loss right above this recent swing high on this one and one to one and a half, right? And boom, you'd hit it right there. So, you know, super simple, easy to use indicator, this easy algo, along with the 200 EM and the MACD, it's super effective. So I know in some of my last few, you know, in, in my past videos, people are always asking me to back test stuff to look, actually show the numbers. So I did back test this on the five minute chart for Apple. Okay. So now let's go through the back test and I'll show you guys the results. Sit back, enjoy. And let's check out the results for the back test.
All right, so here are the results for the back test, right? And hey, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and write boom in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos on other awesome trading strategies and indicators, along with some back test results of those, all right? So overall, pretty solid results, right? The things that the thing that was super impressive to me, number one, okay, so let's let's go through this stuff. So I did the risk to reward ratio. Let me X that out. The risk to reward ratio on this was one to one and a half, all right? And for each trade, I put, I was taking a stop loss of 2% of the portfolio size and for a win, 3%, right? So that again, that's one, one to one and a half uh, risk to reward ratio. The cool thing that, the, the thing that blew me away about this particular indicator was actually the max drawdown. The max drawdown on losses was only 5.88% where it took a couple of consecutive losses. And that was another thing that that was was pretty impressive is during during the last 100 trades and it took for for 100 trades it went it took about 8 months, all right, on the 5 minute chart for just Apple. It went from September 6, 2022 and it went back to January 25th, 2022. So over an 8 month period 290, almost a 291% growth on a portfolio is insane. And yeah, I know people are going to be like, you know what? Your thumbnail said 291%, but it's only 290.99%. Yeah, I know. There are always going to be people like that that are going to be making those comments. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So almost 291% return over eight months is ridiculous. Okay. And going back to the consecutive consecutive losses and wins, the max it had consecutive losses were only three over the last hundred trades that you know everything hit the right strategy for this with the things that I mentioned about the MACD and the 200 EMA and the buy sell signals, right? And but the consecutive wins seven. That's insane. So when when there were losses, the portfolio only went down with a max drawdown of 5.88%. As you can see, it was, it was good consistent growth. It was a little choppy right here. And then it was, it was super, super consistent as opportunities came up that hit all of our rules, right? And that's what trading is about. You got to have those rules in place and be disciplined to be able to trade like this. All right. And if you're... Um, so I thought, I thought it was pretty solid. If you'd like to get the Easy Algo Indicator, I've got a link to their website in the description below. Yeah, I don't have like an affiliate link or anything. It's just a link to their website. So check out the link in, for their website in the description below. I was also thinking about doing a back test video on this indicator for crypto or Forex as well. So let me know in the comments what which one you'd like me to back test, crypto or Forex. Just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll read through those. And we'll go with, uh, you know, whatever you guys want. And if you're curious to see what trades I'm actually making, like this trade I posted recently that got 150% return, be sure to check out my free Telegram channel and join my all-access Patreon. Links for those are in the description below as well. Now go ahead and click on one of my other videos to learn some more awesome trading strategies using some of the best trading view indicators. I'll see you on the next one.